Galileo's experiment was simple. He took a heavy object and a light one and dropped them at the same time to see which fell fastest. Now in this case, the feathers fell to the ground at a slower rate than the bowling ball because of air resistance. So in order to see the true nature of gravity, we have to remove the air. It takes three hours to pump out the 800,000 cubic feet of air from the chamber. Okay, we dropped two millitor in the last 30 minutes. But once it's complete, there's a near perfect vacuum inside. 6104 manual, 10% open. Station one, go for drop. PCB 30-1, pressure set point at 240 PSI. We are go for drop. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, cameras on, two, one, release. Exactly. They came down exactly the same. Wow. Look, look, look. Look at how they hit right there. Exactly. Exactly the same. Feathers don't move. Nothing. Look at that. That's just brilliant. Isaac Newton would say that the ball and the feather fall because there's a force pulling them down. Gravity. But Einstein imagined the scene very differently. The happiest thought of his life was this. The reason the bowling ball and the feather fall together is because they're not falling. They're standing still. There is no force acting on them at all. He reasoned that if you couldn't see the background, there'd be no way of knowing that the ball and the feathers were being accelerated towards the Earth. So he concluded they weren't.